This year's APEC summit came to a close in Peru with Pacific Rim nations, including South Korea, agreeing to realize a massive China-led free trade deal. South's prime minister joined other world leaders in stressing the continued need for free trade to achieve balanced global growth. Connie Kim follows us this report from Lima. The 21 economies that make up APEC vowed to fight all forms of protectionism as a curtain came down on this year's summit in Lima. Wrapping up a meeting where heads of state discussed trade promotion in the region, the 2016 leaders' declaration said members reaffirmed their commitment to keep markets as open as possible. With the summit coming at a time when global concerns linger about potential U.S.-led protectionism under soon-to-be President Donald Trump, the declaration also reiterated APEC's commitment to realize a China-led free trade area of the Asia-Pacific. U.S. President Barack Obama, on his final international trip as president, said the United States should not retreat from global trade. I believe that TPP is a plus for America's economy, America's workers, American jobs. I think not moving forward would undermine our position across the region and our ability to shape the rules of global trade in a way that reflects our interests and our values. South Korea's representative at the summit, Prime Minister Hwang kyo wan also said the world must break away from protectionism and work towards strengthening peace and prosperity to achieve comprehensive growth. To this, Prime Minister Huang said an institutional framework must be set by pushing for the FTAAP. The free trade area of the Asia-Pacific was first launched at the 2014 APEC meeting in Beijing and is expected to add an estimated 2.4 trillion U.S. dollars to the global economy. This year's APEC summit came to a close with a concerted voice for trade liberalization amid fears of global protectionism. And member states will work toward this mission until they meet again next year in Vietnam to discuss the details of the trade policies in the region with the new U.S. administration. Connie Kim, Adil News, Lima.